uh, the ranking member just said that Joe, quote, Joe Biden was opposed to corruption. Really? So opposed, he leveraged a billion dollars of American tax money to fire the prosecutor in Ukraine who was investigating Zolachevsky at Burisma, the, the company Hunter Biden set on the board of. Wow. And the, and the prosecutor who replaced Shokin that Mr. Parnas referenced in his opening statement, Mr. Lutinko, guess what he did? He took Zolachevsky off the wanted list and dropped the charges. Wow, he's really, really opposed to corruption there. Mr. Bobolinsky, who's the big guy? Are you sure about that? Because when Jordan, uh, Joe you're Biden, sure? you're sure? I'm a thousand percent sure. Because when Hunter Biden did his deposition under oath, he said, I don't know who it is, even though he was copied on an email that said H will hold 10 percent for the big guy. You sure it's the big guy is, is Joe Biden? A thousand percent. And there's other text messages that back that up that the brave whistleblowers, Shapley and Ziegler, have produced. Not from my phones, not from my BlackBerry that I took screenshots from. They took them from subpoenas directly from Apple's iCloud that back up the fact that Hunter knew the big guy was Joe Biden. The big guy is the brand. The big guy is the lift. The big guy is the one who showed up at golf outings, who did took phone calls and meetings and lunches and dinners with Hunter Biden and his business associates. Is that right? Correct. Tony Bobulinski alleges that Joe Biden was implicated in potential corruption, notably concerning his son Hunter Biden's business affairs in Ukraine. Representative Jim Jordan's discussion with Bobulinski is perceived as expressing apprehensions regarding the honesty, genuineness, and ethical obligations of political figures. They view Bobulinski's assertion that Joe Biden is the big guy as proof of unethical conduct and breaches of trust by prominent politicians. Bobulinski's claim about Joe Biden being the big guy suggests a decline in confidence in public institutions and unease regarding the sincerity of politicians. Representative Jim Jordan's inquiries are scrutinized to underscore Democratic apprehensions about political malfeasance and the imperative for governmental answerability and openness. Bobolinsky's testimony is interpretable as mirroring Democratic concerns about the integrity of political figures and potential misuse of authority for personal benefits 